Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. You're watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am your host, The Dark Knight. Today we're focusing on ghosts, poltergeists and demons. We're going to take a deep dive into the world of the paranormal. So stick the kettle on, make a cup of tea and let me show you the truth. It's that time again. So close the door, shut the curtains and turn off the lights and go full screen as you get ready to watch. Paranormal videos that prove 100% life goes on after death. Lee's Demon For my first case, we're checking back in with Lee from his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. Now, it's been a while since I've caught up with Lee's haunting, and the videos you're about to see are terrifying. I just have to point out that these videos are from months ago, and since then, Lee has had a priest in and various mediums to bless and cleanse his home. So things are much, much better. For those of you who are new to my channel, this is Lee. And for two years, Lee was in the midst of a paranormal struggle. After a lot of investigations into his own home, Lee now knows he has six entities in his home. And unfortunately, one of them is a demon. Lee's wife, Stacy, was attacked by the demon a number of times. Her hair was pulled while she was asleep in bed. And she was dragged out of her own bed by her legs. The demon has no fear in revealing itself and on many occasions, Lee has filmed it skulking about in his home. The demon means to do Lee and his family harm, so Lee decided that the kids and Stacy should not sleep in the house, so they slept in a caravan across the road. Also, Lee's father-in-law lives a stone's throw away, so that left Lee all alone in the house at the mercy of the demon. Lee couldn't just up and leave the home because on many occasions, the entity turned on the gas cooker and tried to set things on fire, all caught on camera. So basically, Lee was held hostage under his own home. As Lee sleeps on the couch, something on the bottom of the left side of the screen crawls over to him and then disappears. Then, two orbs fly towards him and make contact. Even in his sleep, Lee feels it as he swipes it away with his hand. Then, in the middle of the room, just a few feet away from Lee, the entity emerges and walks towards the camera. Watch. The following night, Lee is upstairs asleep when you can hear strange noises. It sounds like something is rummaging around on the floor, just out of shot. Suddenly, something black and far shoots across the room and hovers around Lee, which wakes him up. Then, for the next 10 minutes or so, Lee tries to communicate with the entity, asking it to show its power by moving or breaking something. After getting no response, Lee decides that taunting the entity would work and it did. Watch.
stop stop I'm in the dark can you move this can you move that Are you really that powerful? Make that fly across the room. Smash it like you've done to others. Show me your power. You don't like doing things when I'm awake. You only do things when I'm asleep. I think you're scared of me. It's got all cold down here. If you're not going to do anything, f off. Stop wasting my time. Eventually, Lee falls back asleep, and yes, you guessed it, something makes his entrance. The entity, or demon, appears at the foot of Lee's bed and stands there, watching Lee. Then, it looks down at Lee's feet. You can tell this by the direction of the shadow's head. This entity had the ability to think and calculate and carry out actions which is very scary. It reaches down and touches Lee's feet, and amazingly, Lee didn't feel it. Another night and yet another incident. The reason I'm showing you these videos are to highlight the progress of Lee's haunting. Remember how this all started with knocks and taps coming from the attic up to the end of the haunting with Lee and his family being attacked. One night, downstairs, poltergeist activity is caught on camera which sets off the home security. Lee wakes up and decides to recite the prayer of St. Michael and as you can expect, it didn't go well. Watch. Got it off its tripod. 
So, like I said, the alarm's gone off. Um, Ouija board's on the floor. Yeah, I'm really, really running out of ideas fast. Um, I've been doing some research online and I found um, a pro. I'm not really a pro person, but I'm going to say it. It's called, um, let me find it. The Exorcism Prayer of St. Michael the Arch, whatever, Summer Angel. I've gone for the short version. I'm not the best reader, so if I get some words wrong, please don't be offended. Um, I'm just going to read it, walk round. Um, hopefully, it'll help. It can't really do any harm, I don't think. St. Michael, the Archangel, illustrious leader of the Heavenly Army, defend us in battle against the principes and powers, against the rulers of the world of darkness and the spirit of wickedness in high places. Come to the rescue of mankind whom God made in his image and purchased from Satan's tyranny at so great a price. The Lord has entrusted you to the task of leading the souls of the redeemed to heavenly blessedness. Entreat the Lord of peace to cast Satan down under our feet so as to keep him from further holding man captive and doing harm to the church carry our prayers up to God's throne That the mercy of God may quickly come and lay hold of the beast, the serpent of old Satan and his demons, casting him in chains into the abyss, so that he can no longer seduce nations. Amen. Someone is rattling. Feels very um keep standing on that Ouija board, I'm gonna burn it. Feels very dark. Leave Leave this place, you're not welcome here. As Lee started to pray, the entity got angry and started banging the kitchen cupboards and drawers. For anyone else, this would have been too much and they probably would have left. But not for Lee. He lived through this for so long and he was totally used to it. The next clip for me is probably the creepiest of all of Lee's videos. First, on top of the screen, a shadow figure runs across from left to right. Then, as the camera starts flashing off and on, something terrifying appears in between the flashes.
These two images are some of the clearest that Lee ever caught of the demon. This is the entity that attacked Lee and Stacy, and it's scary to think that it could move anywhere it wanted in Lee's home. Then, something could be seen crawling on the bottom left of the screen. As the shadow moves across the floor, you can hear what sounds like an animal's footsteps. The reason I've shown so much interest into Lee's haunting is because it had to be documented and examined as many times as possible by as many people. Some of the evidence and footage that Lee has presented has been the first of its kind. And we have to use experiences like these to further our knowledge and advance forward in the hopes of understanding the paranormal. Poltergeist is a noun meaning a ghost or spirit supposed to manifest its presence by noises, knockings, etc. Poltergeist is real. 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 If you're new to Lee's Haunting, I suggest you jump over to his channel and show him some support by subscribing to his channel and watch his Paranormal Nightmare from the beginning. Or you can watch my Ghost, Poltergeist and Demons playlist to catch up. I highly recommend it. The name of Lee's channel is called Really Haunted. The update of Dino Nuggets. For my next case, we're back with the YouTube channel known as Dino Nuggets 741 with an update from his haunted house. And things haven't got better. In fact, it's as bad as it was last time. For those of you who don't know, here's a quick summary. This is JB, aka Dino Nuggets. He lives alone in the house which is very haunted by two entities that we know of. A dominant male spirit which stomps around the house with heavy footsteps, slamming doors that dwells mainly in the basement. And the other is a female entity which walks around Jay's home crying. And trust me when I tell you this, when you hear her crying, it's chilling. It all started with knocks and taps and doors opening and closing on their own. Hello? Hello? Keep hearing weird noises in the basement, Steve. So I just want to. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! No fucking way! No way! Oh my God! Oh my God! See, bro, there's nothing on this fucking door. Hello? 
Yep, fuck that. I'm not going down there. Then, a few weeks after that, loud footsteps were heard walking and running all around Jay's home. Steve, are you home, bro? Hello. Hello. What? The first time Jay saw one of the entities, he knew, and so did everyone else who watched on social media, that this was an extreme haunting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Then, once contact was made, the paranormal activity got more intense. Watch. What's the matter, buddy? What's the matter, bud? What's the matter, big guy? Huh? Something down there. Oh. What'd you hear, buddy? This was the first time the female entity got this close to Jay. They were definitely getting bolder. The following short clip you're about to see is one of my favorites because of the sounds. First you hear heavy footsteps ascending from the basement. The male entity opens the basement door and then from the opposite direction you can hear and partially see the crying woman as she is summoned into the basement. The male entity then slams the door behind her.
You gotta come out. Oh, I got it. Come on. What the fuck? Oh, shit! After this, Jay decided he needed to call a paranormal investigator to come and help him get rid of his haunting. See this one I have to deal with. Here we go. Hello. The paranormal investigator arrived and his name was CJ. They knew the house was definitely haunted and they had proof of the entities. Finally, Jay had someone on his side to help him get rid of the terrifying nightmare. Or so he thought. Watch. Alright guys, we are back. Um, had to get the little guy out of the house. JC was saying that uh, he just wants it to be us, so respecting that, that's why he's here. And All right, everybody, for all the ghost hunters out there, a lot of the stuff is going to obviously be familiar to you. Uh, Jay, some of the stuff that I use, A, I, I wish it were easier. I wish we could do this in the daylight. a definite kind of feel to it down here there it's just <laughs> yeah it's kind of it's creepy I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you man there's okay what huh we're getting something right here man what does that mean uh, you mean that little light whoa yeah there's something here something here man i mean i'm standing straight here in the middle wow whoa <laughs> no way whoa man. whoa whoa oh, dude no way you dude. know fucking somebody nobody's here man like see Jeez. this is the shit i have to deal with god dang dude i'm scared the fuck out of you <laughs> all right hey, hey. A little? Okay. Oh! Wow. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, my fucking heart's racing. <laughs> you locked the doors. I locked the doors. What? Oh, you got nothing. You gonna have a heart attack? No, dude. No. Way. I try to fucking tell you, man. No way, dude. No way. What? Nah, dude. It feels like something, like literally hit my back, dude. No, oh, fuck that. Turn the light on, man. It's right there. Like what? <sighs> oh shit. Is there something on there for real, man? Yeah. Are you serious, dude? Like, a, I don't want to touch it, but yeah, it's like a scratch mark. You got one up here, and then, like, three oh, three ones. That's fucking new. No way, man. Holy cow. 
cow, man. <laughs> So CJ got scratched by one of the entities and thus started months and months of research, investigations and a lot of sleepless nights. Then, on New Year's Eve, Jay uploaded this video. He was chilling at home with his stepson playing video games when all of a sudden, their senses were bombarded by a putrid smell similar to rotten eggs and used fireworks. So Jay took out his camera and started recording. This is what he caught. Watch. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Come on, yeah, we should go. Stay behind me. Oh, fuck. Shit, oh shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Come with me, come with me. Stick right behind me. Oh, shit. Open the door. Open the door. You all right? Are you all right? Yeah. All right. Just move the curtain. Let's get out of here. Did you hear that? Just before Jay opened the door in front of him, something on the other side knocked twice. Now remember, only Jay and his stepson are in the home. Oh, you smell that. The dog farted like that, we kick him out. Jay and his stepson smell something out of the ordinary which comes and goes all around the home. It's commonly known that if a demonic presence has infested your property, you will be able to smell putrid smells like eggs or sulfur. And I think that's what's happening in Jay's house. Come in here and stand right here by the wall. the closet. I'm just going to check the bed. Anything? Alright, let's go. I'm scared. It's cold in here now. Should we just leave? Yeah. 
Yeah, we should leave. That's coming from your room, man. Yeah, let's get our shoes on. Let's go. Fuck this. Just get your shoes on. Hurry up. No, 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 no. Come on. Yeah, we should go. No, 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 no. no. Come on. Yeah, we should go. Shit, 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 shit. This is why you shouldn't mess with things you have no business messing with. Call someone who can safely do a cleansing and remove the negative energy from your home. Even if you do this, it isn't a quick fix and will take multiple visits over weeks or maybe months so don't go looking for trouble or this is what could happen to you watch Camera's on. you sure you want to do this chill man no Take it i easy. don't want to do this but we have to do it we need to get this thing fucking out of the house i'll try to trap it in here this time that lady said don't be scared so. <laughs> You ready? Yes. You sure? Two, one, go. It's definitely down here. Here we go. Come on. I'm going to lock us in. Stop, stop, stay, stay by me. It was glass. Don't move, don't move, don't move. What'd you find? What'd you find? I know, I know. God, you smell that. Did you fart? No. It's so cold down here, too. It's winter time. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Connor, 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 stop. Oh no, oh shit, get, oh god, what, no, 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 we gotta get the fuck out of here, we gotta get out of here, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do, no, 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 stop, stop, man, we're gonna go, no, 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 we make a break, there's nothing there, stay by me, stay right fucking behind me, this is a bad idea. Oh shit, it's still there, it's still there, it's still there! What the fuck are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? You got your phone? Got your phone? No, I don't. Oh god, fuck. Connor, just don't start crying. Stop. Why was it so big? I don't know why it was so fucking big. The door is shut. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Get up! It's fucking locked! Here, go, go, go! Just rip it off! You gotta go, 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 go! Alright, alright. Woo! Woo! 
And that, my friends, is why you should never mess around with things you have no business messing around with. The haunting of Dino Nugget 741 is still ongoing. And this is not the last we hear from Jay. So, if you liked what you saw, jump over to his YouTube channel. It's called Dino Nugget 741. And in the comments, tell him the Dark Knight sent you. The Haunted Corridor So my next case is a bit of a strange one, and to be honest with you, I don't know what to make of it. So, I'm turning to you, my friends, for help. I want you to watch and analyse these clips, and then let me know down in the comments section if you think this account is real or fake. A Russian account on TikTok calls the cars post weird videos about poltergeist activity from their home. But this account is strange and different from other hauntings. You see, the activity that the family experience on a daily basis is centered only in the corridor by the bathroom. They have a lot of followers and millions of views so people are watching. But you decide. And then let me know down in the comments what you think. As the family go about their daily business, the camera that has been placed above the corridor captures quite a lot of action. I just have to say the videos are quite short, but there are a lot of them. So, I've handpicked 15 clips which I think you'll find a little strange. Watch.
Now you've seen some of their clips, what do you think? Some of them do look real, but then others look like they could have been faked with fishing wire and strings. So I really don't want to say. The next clip you're about to see is of a plastic bottle that gets squashed on its own. I don't know how they did it. If it is fake, does anyone out there know how they did it? If you do, please let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, this account could be real. Well, there you have it. You've seen the clips and you know the account. So, after watching it for yourself, do you think the poltergeist activity in the haunted corridor is real? Or just a load of wires and fishing rods? As usual, let's chat about this down in the comments section or on my Facebook group. They have plenty more clips for you to sink your teeth into, so go check them out. The name of the TikTok account is called Zakaz. The house that knocks. For our next update, we're back with the guys from Signs and Signals, and this time, Derek and David are investigating a so-called haunted house, which they have named the house that knocks. The guys were contacted by a viewer who is having a lot of problems selling a house. Apparently, she can't get any cleanup crews or electricians in to work on the property because whenever they do try and do their jobs, they all report hearing loud bangings, knocks and taps from the ceiling, walls and floors, voices and pungent smells that resemble eggs and their tools mysteriously move by themselves. And more recently, I was told that a worker got scratched. So it comes as no surprise that everyone who enters the house always leave running and they never return. News is spread in this little area, so now Everyone knows about the house and the homeowner is now stuck with the house that she can't sell and no one wants to come anywhere remotely close to it. So, who better to go check to see if the claims are really true? If the house that knocks is really haunted. The lads have visited the house before when meeting the owner but this time they're on their own and they're entering the house at midnight. That's like going all around the house. That was like in the middle, now it's all the way in the back. Oh, I'm not gonna adjust my camera. You think it's hearing this? We gotta get closer, man. That sounds like yeah. like some kind of machine is left on. Like nah, a, that's moving. How do you know that's moving? I, could, I swear to God, it sounded like it was way closer than that now. Or you think it was- That just, sounds like- like a dryer or something is like, I don't know. Give me the knife. You, we really about to go in here, dude? What the f man? Come on, man. God damn. Dude, come on, man. I know we ain't about to go in here. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know, dude. What, what are we supposed to do? She said this was like the problem that was going on. What, she said there were bangs like this? Yeah, I mean, she said that the cruise was getting run up by bangs and things moving around and as the two friends make their way reluctantly towards the house, loud knocks and taps can be heard echoing from within. Was that a bird? Yeah. Shit. 
to Dale. Maybe we need to reconsider this decision. Because <laughs> I'm reconsidering going down back to the stairs. Because that about broke, dude. I'm going to have to go out the front. I'm not going back down them stairs. I mean, yo. Anybody in here? As they enter the house, straight in front of them, they see a wooden box on the floor and around it is a circle. So it looks like people have been using this house for rituals amongst other things. This doesn't go down too well with David and his instincts are telling him to go. Remember what I told you in the last episode, your body is a natural indicator and things like goosebumps and when the hairs in the back of your neck stand up, these are all fight or flight responses which are another way of your body telling you something is wrong. So listen to your instincts. I mean, if you want to leave, we'll leave. I mean, I want to leave. I need to check the house because that banging stopped. Let me see if the front door is unlocked. Just hold it. Yo, somebody's in here. Don't pop out on me now. I, I got a knife, okay? You want us to leave, we'll leave. And you see nobody's in there. Anybody in here? Once they're certain that the house is empty, their attention switches to the box lying on the ground, which you'll recognize as a dibbit box. Why was this box lying on the ground in a circle and who put it there? I guess these things we'll never know. But as Dell begins to force open the box with his knife, the house comes alive. Watch. The hell is this? I mean, that's sugar or salt or something. This looks like a straight up like f***ing seance type sh**. It's just, I don't really know if we should mess with that or not. I'm like, that woman didn't say anything about some sh** like this. Then people may not have been back here for a while. I mean, I'm assuming they use that. I mean, why would it be sitting here? That's an older candle, right? I mean, it has to be. I'm going shine the light back on it. I don't know, it looks like it's been sitting there a while though. Well, how long has this been sitting here? Um, what have been that one? What the f***? That fell down, bro. Why, why are we taking this? 
We gotta see what's inside of it, dude. Ain't no, ain't no way we're gonna go through all that. Through all that for nothing. We're gonna see what's in that damn box. As Dell goes into fight response, he checks where the loud bangs were coming from, but there's no one else around. Suddenly, another loud bang sounds from all around them, which sends the two friends into flight mode. And as they make their escape, more loud banging can be heard. The door directly in front of them, which they were going to go through, unexplainably slams shut, blocking their escape. But luckily, to their relief, David finds the back door, leaving Derek to catch up. They bombed it all the way to the car and sped off into the night. Because they were interrupted while opening the box, Dale didn't realize this, but he was still holding the dibber box when they left. The guys made a part two because after the video was published, the channel was flooded with comments about the dibber box, telling the guys that they should never have touched it and told them they have to put it back, otherwise there would be a level of threat to them and their family from a demon or spirit attached to the box. So a few days later, the guys return the box back to the house that knocks. You can watch this video and part two and many more on their channel. I highly recommend it. It's called Signs and Signals. Just tell them in the comments the Dark Knight sent you. If you've seen something amazing or you've captured something creepy on camera, or maybe you're a paranormal investigator and you want to get your content out there. Send in your clips, home footage and social media videos and links and just about anything paranormal to Project Dark Knight. The new email is on screen. Thank you. The Hat Man. For my final case today, we're checking out a channel that's called My Name is Sam. And if you follow me or are part of the project on Facebook, then you'll know why I'm interested in this case. One year ago, Sam caught something weird on a Polaroid camera, and since then, he's been experiencing some odd and creepy things around his home. So looking for answers about the image he caught on camera, he uploaded this first video to YouTube. Yeah, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the Polaroid that I uploaded to the internet last week um, before I start discussing anything else that's going on around the house. So this is the original Polaroid that I took. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Uh, at this point, your guess is as good as mine, but I really would appreciate um, just some help to figure out what it is and if I should be worried or not. So Sam found this old Polaroid camera while cleaning the attic one day. So he tested it out to see if it still worked and it did. Then later, while looking at the photos that he had taken, he realized there was something odd in one of the photos. Turns out he had captured something that looked like the silhouette of a man wearing a hat and this figure was looking directly at Sam through his window at the time the photo was taken. This is where I was sitting when I took that picture. I was aiming I think right around here and the head of whatever it was appeared through that pane right there. I double checked on the Polaroid itself. The deck drops a few inches so whatever it was had to have been at least six feet tall, maybe more. So we uploaded this short video to YouTube one year ago to get some answers as to what this could be. Now, I've had a personal experience with the Hat Man and I know a few members of my Facebook group have too. Legend goes, for hundreds of years all over the world, people have seen or caught a glimpse or woken up too and had the Hat Man watching them. I don't know why or who he is. He just stands and watches you sometimes from a distance, other times if you're asleep right next to you. I haven't heard of any concrete proof of who he was or what he wants, but because of this photograph, Sam started looking out for strange and weird things around his home. 
Sam started noticing a change in his cats. They stopped eating and they would hide under the table and sofas and wouldn't come out to him even when he called. After a couple of weeks, the cats started looking really sick. Sam didn't know this at the time, but this was down to the paranormal. Then Sam started noticing he was having problems with his lights. All of a sudden, they would flicker and then burn out. He would change the light bulbs multiple times, but every time he replaced a new light bulb, the same thing would happen. Then, one night while taking out the rubbish, he noticed the lights outside his house had the same problem too. It's, um, it's a little after one o'clock in the morning. I just woke up to the sounds of banging and scratching coming from the attic again. This has been going on the last couple nights. Every time I go to sleep, it, uh, it stopped for now, but I think I'm going to try to stay up and see if it happens again. And if it does, I'm probably going to have to go into the attic to see what it is. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but this is what I've been hearing the last few nights. After hearing footsteps coming from the attic, very bravely, Sam goes up to investigate. But he doesn't see or hear anything until he puts the camera down. Suddenly, for no reason at all, the lights in the attic turn off and luckily for Sam, he had a torch. As he makes his way out of the attic, something follows him. Let's see if you can spot it. Then, a few days after the attic, Sam was woken up from a heavy sleep to something that would terrify anyone in the early hours of the dark. Please listen, if this ever happens to you, never ever open the door. Watch. Who's there?
playing games and it's not funny. As terrifying as this looks and sounds, this is typical of a haunting. It all starts with electrics and things around your home like animals and smells. Then come the taps and knocks and even footsteps and, if you're unlucky enough, scratching. By the time you got to the door knocking stage, the entity has gained enough strength to physically hit hard objects. And this is when things can get dangerous. So never communicate with the entity. If you ever hear your door knocking like this, look through the peephole or a window. Never ever open the door. Up until this point, everything else has been symbolic or to scare Sam or to draw energy from him. But this stage is for the entity's own selfish reasons. And if you open the door, it will gain entrance into your home. And if you open the back door still, like Sam did, Chances are the entity now has full access and nowhere is safe. Oh my god. I just lost power in my house. I looked down the road and I saw lights on, so I think it's just me. I'm gonna go down to the breaker box and see what's up. Hey, you stay here, I'm gonna go get the power back on, okay? Let's go. Cool. 
power company. These were closed. These were 100% closed. I never leave these open. If there's someone or something here I want you to prove it to me. I want you to close one of these doors. Come on! Oh, if I'm being honest, I'm glad nothing happened. This was Sam's breaking point. He couldn't stay in that house any longer. He grabbed his cats and a change of clothing and went to stay at his parents' house. If you've made it to the end, then I salute you. You're a true fan of horror. So remember, if you're interested in ghosts, poltergeists and demons, true crime, torture techniques and random nautica, animal attacks, serial killers and psychopaths, then Project Dark Knight Horror is the channel for you. I absolutely love all things horror and I'm so passionate about my channel. It's a proven fact that doing one good deed every day brings good karma into your life. So, by subscribing to the project and clicking the like button, you're doing something good for the channel, and in turn, for me, your Dark Knight. You've heard that age-old saying, what goes around comes around. So, by helping the channel grow, you're due a big fat lump of good karma. I just have to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers who have always been there and always had my back. No matter what, you're always there with your love, support and comments, which make me smile and help the channel grow. If you want me to give you a shout out, then join Project Dark Knight on my private Facebook group. We have all sorts of different people in the community and we all share one common love, and that is the love of horror. A massive thank you to all my Dark Knights who support the channel every month. You'll find your names at the beginning of the video and on the homepage of my channel. Also, I'll post a list on my Facebook group. Lastly, can I just say a massive thank you to this month's Patreons. Their names are Dawson Lip, Turtle Chief 9, Julie 6, Andrew M. Gross, Steve Launt, Laura Rohde, Moses Perez, George Lopez, T. Black, Cookie I Don't Know, and Andrew Capecci. Thank you all for your loving support. It's people like you who keep the engines running at Project Dark Knight Horror. And always remember, You've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror, and I am the Dark Knight, signing off. Peace! Don't ever laugh as the hearse goes by, for you may be the next to die. They wrap you up in a big white sheet, from your head down to your feet. They put you in a big black box and cover you up with dirt and rock.